Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Jim and I work at the Fayetteville Public Library in the Youth and Teen Services Department. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is Toddler Storytime. While our Storytime room is still closed, we're still bringing you virtual story times you can watch from home. In this story time, we'll read some fun picture books, we'll sing some songs. It's going to be a lot of fun, so thank you very much for joining me today. In today's story time, we're going to talk about shoes. We're going to talk about socks. Where would I wear shoes and socks? On my feet. We're going to talk about feet today. People have feet. Some animals have feet. We're going to read some picture books about feet, about shoes, and about socks. These are my shoes and socks. It's purple like my shirt. Why don't we sing a song to get us ready for story time today? We're going to wake up different parts of our body, starting with our hands. Where are your hands? Here are my hands. We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. Clap, clap, clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, clap, clap. Getting ready for story time. Very good. Now find your feet. My feet are down on the ground where you can't see, but they can stomp, stomp, stomp. We wake up our feet with a stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. We wake up our feet with a stomp, stomp, stomp. Getting ready for story time. Good job. Find your eyes. Here are my eyes. We wake up our eyes with a blink, 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 blink. We wake up our eyes with a blink, 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 getting ready for story time. Good job. Now take your whole head in your hands. We wake up our heads with a nod, 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 nod. We wake up our heads with a nod, 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 getting ready for story time. Good job. Let's do one more silly one. Find your belly button. My belly button's down here. We wake up our bellies with a beep, 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 beep. We wake up our bellies with a beep, 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 getting ready for story time. Good job. Give yourself a round of applause. Thanks so much for singing with me. Our bodies are ready for story time today. We're going to start with this book today. This book is called Dancing Feet by Lindsay Craig and Mark Brown. What's this animal on the front? It's a big gray elephant. Elephants have huge feet. Look at their big feet. But what's that on elephant's trunk? It's a little bug, a little red bug. Little bugs have itty bitty tiny feet. Big feet, little feet. Let's see what happens in Dancing Feet. Before we read this story, are you sitting down on your bottom? Did you put your listening ears on today? Did you catch a bubble in your mouth this morning? Good job. That helps us sit still. We're listening to the story and our voices are off so we can hear it. This is Dancing Feet. Look at all those animal feet. Some feet leave prints on the ground called footprints. Look, I think I see someone, and they're itty bitty footprints. Who could that be? Tippity tippity, little black feet. Who is dancing that tippity beat? Oh, it's little red ladybug. There's lots of ladybugs. Ladybugs are dancing on tippity feet. Tippity tippity, happy feet. Can you dance on your tippy toes? Tip, 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 tip. Stompity, stompity, big gray feet. Who would have big gray feet and leave such big footprints? Who is dancing that stompity beat? Who could it be? It's elephant. Elephant is dancing on stompity feet. Stompity, stompity, happy feet. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp, 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 stomp. And what did Ladybug do? Tiptoe, tiptoe. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Ooh, these are orange feet. And they go slap, slap, slap. Slappity, slappity, webbed orange feet. Who is dancing that slappity beat? Whose feet could these be? Hmm. It's ducks. Ducks are dancing on slappity feet. Slappity, slappity, happy feet. Can you slap your feet flat on the floor? Slap, slap. An elephant went stomp, stomp. And Ladybug went tiptoe, tiptoe. Look at those purple footprints. Creepity, creepity, lots of purple feet. 
who is dancing that creepity beat? Who could this be with lots and lots of feet on their body? They only have two feet. They have a lot more than that. Oh, it's Caterpillar. Caterpillar's dancing on creepity feet. Creepity, creepity, happy feet. Can you be sneaky on creepity feet like Caterpillar? Creepity, creepity. Duck went slappity, slappity. Elephant went stompity, stompity. And ladybugs went tippity, tippity. Who could be next? Big feet. Thumpity, thumpity. Furry brown feet. Who is dancing that thumpity beat? Who could have the big brown feet? It's bear and bear is dancing. Bear is dancing on thumpity feet. Thumpity, thumpity, happy feet. Bear goes thumpity, thumpity. Caterpillar went creepity, creepity. Duck went slappity, slappity. Elephant went stompity, stompity. And ladybugs go tippity, tippity. I see green footprints that go clickety, clickety. Long green feet. Who is dancing that clickety beat? Lizard is dancing on clickety feet. Clickety, clickety, happy feet. Lizard goes clickety, clickety. Bear goes thumpity, thumpity. Caterpillar goes creepity, creepity. Duck goes slappity, slappity. Elephant goes stompity, stompity. And ladybugs go tippity, tippity. Look at all these kids using their feet. Stampity, stampity, hear our feet. Who is dancing that stampity beat? We are dancing on stampity feet. Stampity, stampity, happy feet. And look at all the kids. They're acting like the animals we talked about. Look, this one's wearing green. Like lizard. Lizard goes clickety, clickety. This one's wearing long orange feet. Like duck that goes slappity, slappity. This one's wearing gray like elephant. And elephant goes stompity, stompity. This one's like bear going thumpity, thumpity. This one has polka dots like a ladybug going tippity, tippity. And this one's purple like caterpillar going creepity, creepity. Look at all those kid friends and animal friends together using their feet. What kinds of sounds can your feet make today? Good job, friends. We made it to the end of this story, Dancing Feet. Thanks so much for listening to this story and listening to all the sounds these feet made. Most people wear shoes and socks on their feet. Most animals don't need to wear shoes or socks. But I need your help to figure out how many shoes we would need to put on these animals. Can you help me with this? Awesome, thank you. How many shoes should Duckling buy to keep her feet all nice and dry? One, two, two red shoes. How many shoes should Pink Pig buy to keep his feet all nice and dry? One, two, three, four. Four green shoes. What kind of animal is this? It lives down in the ocean. This is jellyfish. How many socks should jellyfish buy to keep his legs all nice and dry? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven yellow socks on jellyfish's legs. Good job helping put shoes and socks on all these animal feet.
I think we're ready for our next story. This book is called One Red Sock. Do you see a red sock on this book? This purple hippo has one red sock on her foot. But what about her other foot? Should her other foot have a red sock on? If she wants her socks to match, she needs one more red sock. Let's see what happens in this book. Look at all the colorful socks. Some have lines on them, some have polka dots on them. Some are red, some are yellow, some are pink. I like fun socks. Let's see what happens with the one red sock. In a big pink chair in a room full of dots. Who could that be? Sat a purple hippo wearing one red sock. Just one. Hmm. It looks funny this way. This just will not do. So she put on another sock, but this one. What color is this sock? This sock was blue. B-L-U-E, blue. This is a blue sock. That's a red sock. I don't think they match. I have to be fashionable or I cannot be seen. So she put on another sock. This one was... <gasps> what color is this sock? It's green. Is that a red sock? No, that's not a red sock, Hippo. She stuck out her chin. This won't ruin my day. So she put on another sock. This sock was... What color sock is that? That sock is gray. Gray like elephant from earlier. Gray sock, red sock, not the same. This is driving me crazy. It just isn't right. So she put on another sock. This one is white. It's a white sock, white sock. Red sock, not the same. Purple Hippo looks a little frustrated. She was losing her patience. She told herself, think. So she put on another sock. This one is, what color could it be? Pink, it's a pink sock. It's not a red sock, it's a pink sock. Pink sock, red sock, not the same. Well, I hope this one works. It's the last one I've got. And she pulled on a sock with polka dots. Well, it's not perfect. And it's definitely not red. Polka dot sock, red sock. Not the same. But I think she likes it. But at least it matches my room, she said. Her sock has polka dots just like the wall of her room. Polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. Polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. There's a match there. So she tottered off happy, though her socks weren't a pair. And the other red sock? Do you see another red sock on this page? The other red sock had always been there. The red sock was in her pink chair. Purple Hippo was sitting on it so she couldn't see it. Oh well, maybe she'll find a match for her red sock some other day. Guess what, friends? We got through all those colored socks, and we made it to the end of this story. Will you say the end? Good listening to this story. Do you like it when your socks match, when they look the same? Or do you like it when they don't look the same, and you have on two different kinds of socks, or two different kinds of shoes? I think that's kind of fun. That's the end of this book. Thank you for listening. Friends, thanks for talking about feet and shoes and socks with me today in story time. I hope you had fun listening to those stories, singing those songs, and putting shoes on different animals. Parents, a reminder that you can find all of our story time schedules on our website at faleb.org slash calendar. Miss Sarah and I do toddler story times every Thursday at 10 a.m., so be sure to watch for our videos. Can you wave goodbye like this? Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing it one more time. 
Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. I had a lot of fun with you today. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time for Toddler Storytime. I hope you have a great day. Bye.